After we get that, bend the knees even more and get the balls of your feet off the ground and then back down. Some of life's very hardships involve something you love being taken from you. In this case, it's the game of football. Max Hostetter is a junior at Hemfield High School whose life has always revolved around playing football. After having a promising freshman season, he went on to miss the majority of his sophomore and junior seasons due to a stress fracture in his right foot and then a broken left tibia. So the hardest part about not playing the last two seasons was definitely not being able to build the relationships with the people on the field that you want to build relationships with. Running out on the field with them on a Friday night is something that a lot of people who don't play football don't understand, but when you do that, it's a lot more than football, I feel like. I love football because it opens up doorways outside of the game, even when you progress through your life. So college, relationships, leadership, I feel like that all comes along with playing football. Jonathan Lee, founder and owner of the Concrete Jungle, was a referral made by one of Max's teammates. Max has been working with Jonathan for the past year in hopes of bettering himself as an athlete. So we're going three times a week and every time that we meet, he's covering his flexibility, his mobility, his synergistic approach to his muscles, and then we of course lift. The most important thing that we do a lot of is position specific drills. So things that are like taking a moment in his sport and promoting it to the highest performance level. That way, when he does it, it just becomes a habit. His relentless approach to his work ethic is probably, I mean, look at him right now. He's working and I'm not even over there. So, uh, you know, he's probably one of the hardest workers I know. There's a select few of them that I work with and he's one of them. Just let me know. <laughs> the decision to go to the trainer was Max's decision 150%. We supported him. Um, in his decision to go and, and dedicate himself to that process. But that was Max coming in and saying, this is what I want to do. Life throws you a lot of curveballs, and we just couldn't be prouder of Max's ability to, you know, pull himself up and, and come back after, you know, two devastating injuries. And, um, you know, a lot of people would pack it in and, you know, say this isn't for me, but his passion is shining through and his dedication to the sport is is just really something that we're quite proud of. My mindset going into senior year is to not take anything for granted because I could easily get injured just as I did other years. I also want to be a leader on the team and win games. Sometimes for young athletes, trips to the hospital may bring devastating news. This wasn't the case for Max. He now has a more positive mindset moving forward and into the 2019 to 2020 season. For Hemfield Happenings, I'm Zach Rhoda.